It is a beautiful day to stop and solve some equations with some rational exponents in them. All right, so let's go ahead and we were going to start this problem. Uh, we're going to get rid of that four first. So we're going to get rid of the four as it's attached by multiplication to the parentheses set. So we are going to divide by four because it is being attached by multiplication. Uh, four divided by four is going to cancel. We're going to be left with x to the five sixth power plus seven equals to whatever 159 divided by four is. Please have that Desmos out. Make those calculations as we're going along. 39.75, so I'm going to write 39.75. Even if the calculations are easy, I like you have that Desmos out so you can verify, minimize some of those mistakes. Okay, so um, x to the five, six plus seven equals 39.75. We're going to get rid of that positive seven by subtracting seven. So that's going to be our next piece. We're going to use the opposite of that positive seven. Uh, when we do that, uh, seven minus seven cancels. And then we're going to be left with x to the five, six equals to 39.75 minus seven. Looks like that should be 32.75. I'm just going to rewrite that equation right here. So x to the 5, 6 equals to 32.75. And once again, because it's, as we're doing this work, you may make a mistake. So we're going to take that 39.75 and just kind of keep our work together, minus 7. Check it out, 32.75, that's what we were expecting. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that 5, 6 power. Now, how do we get rid of that 5, 6 power? We want it to be an x to the first power. That's how we solve these. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take the fraction that is there, the five over six, and I'm going to flip it, six over five. We call that the reciprocal. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it using the reciprocal. And the reason why that is so important is that the top will cancel with the bottom and the top will cancel with the bottom, leaving the answer of one. Any, anyway, so as we get to six over five, I'm gonna do the, what I do to one side, I'm gonna to do to the other side of the equation. All of these little pieces have canceled over here, leaving us with x to the first power. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to type this in. So let's do that. 32.75. And since we've kept a little lineup of solutions over on our um, in Desmos, it keeps all of our stuff easy to make those calculations with. So 32.75 to the 6 fifths give us an answer of 65.8, 65.8. Now, of course, what we are going to do is we are going to check our work by typing it in. So we're gonna type it in. Notice I've already done that. So what I've done is I've given this one the name of g of x. I love to name my functions so I can keep track of them. This is f of x. You'll notice that over here in Desmos. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type them in, which are already in there. I'm going to graph them, and I'm going to look for where they intersect in this case. So I'm looking for 159. There's that 159 line. There is our g of x red line. We're going to look for where they intersect. We should get something pretty close. So 65.8, and we got 65.8. Man, that is beautiful to see all that algebra and then to verify it through graphing.